Hey y'all, and welcome to the Looking Glass Tarot and two card or cards of the day. I do hope this finds you well. And as always, this is a general reading. It is for the collective, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So let's get into our reading today. And let's see what Spirit has for us. That was pretty quick. Temperance. Oh, this one's a good one for everybody. No matter who is watching, this is good for everyone. Temperance is about balance. It's about looking at your inner self, looking at your inner core, and finding balance for yourself, not for somebody else. This is finding your own unique balance, your own way of doing things, but it has to balance out for you. You can't do it for other people. You see the little triangle there on her chest. It's telling you, use your intuition. If it doesn't feel right, do not do it. If it doesn't look right, probably isn't right. Go with your instincts because they will not lead to your own. But temperance is about patience. It teaches patience. It teaches balance. It teaches self-healing. So if you're in that, that time now where you need to look at your inner self and see what's going on, um, this is probably something that Spirit is telling you it's time for you to look at something differently. Maybe you've had blinders on about something. You see the sun is coming up behind the owl. So it's like if you haven't done this already, then you need to. If you have, then it's like uh, another aha moment. It's like now I see what I didn't see before. Now I understand why this didn't work. Now I understand why I was struggling with this. So... Temperance can be about balance, patience, looking into oneself, and basically doing what's good for you and not everyone else around you. It's hard to do that when you, your decisions also affect the people around you, but in the end, you have to do something that keeps you balanced so that you can keep your life balanced and help other people that are close to you. Let's see why temperance is here. Because you see she's got the sun, she's in a creek, you know, she's around water. And you see she's the reflection is in the water to her. It's telling her, look at yourself. Look in the mirror. Look at, do the self-reflection. Look within yourself and figure things out. Because um, when you sometimes when you look at yourself in the mirror, you see things differently that you didn't see before. Because it's like, okay. Why didn't I see, you know, you're, it's kind of like talking to yourself, but, you know, you've, you're figuring it out. You're going through the things and figuring it out, all the things. Five of Swords. So this probably will bring you a win, uh, end to the end of something. The Five of Swords can be a win, you know, if it's games or anything like that. Some people look at things as wins and losses. Some people look at things as, you know, it's not like a win to them. It's like, okay, I got what I wanted, but at what cost did I get it? So sometimes we have to give things up that don't serve us. We have to let go of things that don't serve us. And it seems like I've done this video quite a bit. So I feel like there's a lot of people out there that need to do this transition of letting go and putting things that don't serve them behind them. Because the Five of Swords is the end of something. Um, you see that owls are, the other owls are flying off in defeat. So it's like, yeah, I won, but I had to give some things up. Um, that probably hurt me. Um, but I've, I've got my two swords standing up there. I am victorious. I will move on. I will find mental clarity. You know, I will move into the six of swords, which is victory. It's just going to take me a little bit of time to transition into there. This could be also about maybe you're with a group of people, maybe you're working with this group of people and you're no longer working in there with them anymore and you've had to let this job go and move to another one and you really liked where you were at, but you weren't progressing, you weren't moving forward. So now this, with the Six of Swords being next, this could be a victory for you. This could be you moving into a new job, finding a new job and maybe being recognized for once for your hard work. 
something that you've done. So let's get one more card with the Five of Swords. So this is, you know, self-reflecting, moving on. Um, and yeah, it wasn't easy, but it's the best thing for you. King of Wands. So the King of Wands is a, somebody that's very charismatic, very creative. They kind of walk to the beat of their own drum. They, they have their own agenda, and they don't, they're not, you know, you can't talk them out of it. Um, once they set their mind, that's what they're going to do. Um, you see the salamander up there with King of Wands. So we have transition. So I feel like you're transitioning, whether it's from one job to the next or from one um, part in your life to another. The, the King of Wands is here for transition. He's here for creativity. He's also saying you need to get on it. Get moving. Because uh, the King of Wands is, is not, he don't drag his feet. He does not drag his feet. So it's time for you to move on. Time for you to let go. The self-reflection is helping you do that. So, and with that, your creativity is going to come back. You know, your determination is going to come back. That, that, because I, I feel like you kind of lost yourself with your joy and your, you just haven't been yourself. Like, you, you're usually fun, charismatic, joy to be around. You know, you always look at things optimistically but I feel like you haven't been that way for a while so with the king of wands here is saying get that back transition back into that king of wands you were before and it doesn't necessarily mean a man this could be a woman you could have still have those same personality traits okay let's get us a there we go that was pretty quick miracles have faith that your miracle is on its way your prayers have been answered surrender to the bow so you probably have been manifesting and praying for a change and for something to happen where you could see things differently or just the opportunity to be able to move in a different direction so it's saying it's on its way if it hasn't already gotten here this offer or this um, transition you're moving into hasn't already gotten here it's 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 coming and with the king of wands it's probably probably overdue and it's probably saying uh get on it get on it Let's get one more, and this will be our spirit animals. Oh, that was it. Go. The Puffin Partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. So remember what I was saying when the Six of Wands is next and that's like a victory and where you may stand out where you didn't before? That's what the Puffin is telling you. You know, reach out to your community. Maybe you work within the community. Maybe your job is that. Um, don't be scared to ask for help. There's always someone there that's willing to help you, help you move forward. Um, and teamwork does make the dream work. I mean, if, you know, if you're moving out of one job with people that you know just you just couldn't click with or the environment just didn't click with you or something was happening and now you're moving into another one give some you know don't side eye new collabs or new partnerships because not everybody's the same you know give it give it a give it a shot give it a chance so just bring that joy back because like I said before I feel like you you were that kind of person before and you it was kind of stifled for a little bit but i feel like you're going to move into that transform back into that king of wands that you were with that personality and that charisma and that creativity um and i feel like you're just you're just transitioning and i think it's it's just every transition is a little bumpy and rough but you'll find your way use your intuition as big here with the temperance use your intuition and it will not steer you wrong so thank you for watching and subscribing everyone i do appreciate you i do hope you have a blessed day and love and light